We continue this week our journey to try and understand what is a chassid, what is a pietist, and trying to, we're doing this by blurring the differences between uh, European chassidicism and, and pietism or chassidicism in North Africa. And this week's Torah portion is a great example of, of that, uh, the challenge to understand what is, a, what is a holy person or the job of, of a chassid, because this is the Torah portion of Kedoshim. We'll start with the Magid of Zlotchev. The Magid of Zlotchev begins with the starting, you know, the, the, the sort of the banner of the Torah portion. Kedoshim to you, you shall be holy, for I, your Lord, am holy. We are told, um, one of his boys says, and I heard from the holy mouth, right? It's interesting this expression he uses in this week's Torah portion, from the holy mouth of the Magid, you know, the Mefursam, Kado, the holy uh, uh, Kabbalist, uh, uh, Rabbi Michael, he quotes a Midrash in Vaikra, and the Midrash says, on this matter, do you really think you can be as holy as I am? Right? I'm my holiness lemala is is the way this is read as you know is above your holiness. This is the midrash. Now the Magid says, "Wow, what a teaching!" As if I didn't know. Right? If we understand it this way, it's like as if I needed the midrash to tell me that God Almighty, His holiness is higher than than you know. Than, than the holiness of, of flesh and bones that comes out of the ground. That's obvious. What is this Midrash actually trying to teach me? And he says the way we should read this is by saying that my holiness is above. Right? It is actually above yours in the sense that I only rise in holiness due to your holiness. Meaning your holiness, my holiness only rises. My only holiness is, this is so radical, it's only thanks to your actions, right? This is, this is a radical teaching. This is sort of, you know, he, he's saying, means it is only above yours, but it means it only hovers above thanks to the work that you do. So he's given us a sort of, you know, a, a, a very unique commentary, which by the way, Rabbi Yaakov Avichzera doesn't, isn't as radical as this. Rabbi, although we're not going to discuss this, Rabbi Yaakov discusses the difference between the Lord's holiness and the Israelites, but he says things more to do with the parallel between Israelites' holiness and the angels, or Israel and the Sfirot, the Godhead. He's not going to touch God. So here the Magid really is radical. But now we want a practical tool for our lives and to understand what a Hasid is, and for this we need Rabbi Yaakov Vichzerah. Rabbi Yaakov has tons and tons of commentaries on this first verse, on this banner verse of be holy, for you will be holy for I am holy. But I want to bring you one beautiful one. He, he says to us, um, you understand from this verse that every single thing that we do in our lives must be done in holiness. And how do we learn, how do we know this? We look at the word Kedoshim, holiness, which is actually an acronym for the Kuf is Kol, Dibur, Yedia. Shtia and Machal. So there are five things which encompass everything. So what is Kol? Kol, voice is the voice of the Torah. Every time we study Torah or Davan or pray, it should be in with the intent of holiness. Every time uh, um, that we speak about anything, you know, doing negotiating, anything that comes out of our mouth that's not to do with holiness should be done, uh, uh, that's not to do with Torah or with uh, 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 praying, should be done with the intent of these words being holy. We need this intent. So that's our words, and that's what comes out of our mouth, whether it be holy or mundane stuff. And then the Yud Yediya. We know what Yediya is in the Bible. That means, you know, knowing another. That means sex. He says, even when you, especially sex, he says, especially sex must be done uh, uh, with the intent of holiness, because these, this does all sorts of stuff uh, above. And then, of course, when you drink and when you eat, these things, everything you put in your mouth, everything that, that you consume must be done with the intent of being holy. Meaning, and, and this is what we usually understand for a chassid to be. You're collecting the sparks. And here we have a North African rabbi, Rabbi Yaakov Ichtzera, who's a chassid par excellence. This is, he's saying that this is what one must do. And interestingly, he's not as radical when we look at this idea of man's kedusha, holiness, as opposed to uh, uh, gods, where the Magid really has sort of, you know, gone overboard in a, in a, in a fantastic way. Um, so these are thoughts on the Torah portion of Kedoshim. Shabbat Shalom.